Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Western River, which is based on the real life arch method 143. So that is actually Keanu Reeves motorcycle company. And it's actually pretty good that, you know, Rockstar decided to add this. And if you also might not notice, this is actually the same motorcycle from Cyberpunk. And it's actually known as Nazare in Cyberpunk. And you can see the similarities from just about every single angle, the whole body style design. So it's actually pretty cool, you know, Rockstar adding this motorcycle into GT on it's actually, you know, looking neat. And the and the engine setup is actually like the Ducatis in real life, you know, the L twin engines. So it is kind of like that. And the exhaust and the tail section too is just like the real life Arch Method 143 guys. So pretty cool, liking the design of this motorcycle and. Uh, and the good thing is that you can actually see the dials in first person view. So that's actually pretty cool. And what is not cool is the price tag. This motorcycle is priced at $1.9 million, close to $2 million for a motorcycle. I mean, this DLC, the pricing has, you know, skyrocketed and motorcycles are now priced at $2 million, $2.5 million in this DLC. So yeah, the economy is real bad right now in GT Online. <laughs> All right, let's take it out for a spin. This performs, you know, pretty decent wheelies and the handling and the acceleration is pretty good for a stock motorcycle. So now let's go check out all the customization options it has. All right, first up is the paint and I actually like, you know, red on this. It actually looks pretty good but for this particular build we'll probably be going with the race yellow just like the one in cyberpunk so secondary paint actually changes um, okay it actually changes the tip of the front and back mud guards as well as the outer lines on the wheels actually so for this too I'll probably just go with the metallic finish and I'll hopefully change the front mud guard of this to probably black so yeah then with the wheels i think this too actually changes the whole wheel plate as you can see right here yeah pretty cool but for this i'll just go with the black and then moving on to the customization options we have the backrest i personally am not a fan of this wow bozu ridge backrest huh crazy looking ones but yeah if you're a fan of it you can go ahead and get it and for the front mud guards we can actually change okay pretty cool oh okay the stock one actually looks good but you know, sadly I was thinking of getting the front tips kind of changed but sadly we can't do that so I think I'll just have to stick to the arc mudguard and for the rear okay we have the secondary carbon yeah, I think I'll just have to go with the black dot mudguard for the rest there's quite a few options and I'm not a fan of any of those once again these are all personal preferences so it's totally up to you guys to decide so I'll just go with the carbon arc mudguard for this. Then we have the exhaust options. Okay. These are actually recycled from the, I think the summer DLC which we got last year. Yeah, it looks like all of these are, you know, completely recycled from the Nagasaki strike we had earlier on. So these are all completely recycled. But the one thing is that with the stock exhaust, there's no flames actually so for this i'll have to go with the racer exhaust yeah yeah that's what i just mentioned so yeah we won't be going with the quad instead we'll just go with the racer exhaust okay up next we have the seats we have the ridge seat we have the oh nice we get the rear seat cowls in this that's actually pretty cool i, I kind of like this you know we also have it in the diamond seat okay so this is you know if you want to do it just like the jackies because if you take a closer look it also changes the portion near the tank area so 
that's kind of cool if you ask me and like i said if you want to do it just like the jackies in cyberpunk you can go ahead and do that but for me i think i'll just go with uh, the ridge racer seat because you know this is a single seater motorcycle so i'll just go with that then we have like different options for the front visor or the windshield so all of these are you know colored windshields and there's also this oh half windshield it's actually slightly bigger than the stock one In my opinion is that the stock one looked much better oh we get the bozu windshields as well this is the short version and this is the long one these actually does suit the motorcycle this is slightly funky with those two inlets but if you go with the stock one this is actually how it is in real life so you know this is completely totally personal preferences and uh, you could just go ahead with the ones that you know you would like so for this i think i'll be going with the stock look itself because this is actually pretty unique so i'll go with that then we'll get the engine performance all those upgrades transmission too and there is also the library options here okay so this is just like the real life arch uh, library so i probably will be going with that then there's the black white libraries as well okay so yeah i'm not a fan of any of these so i'll just go with the river library and then for the wheels all i gotta say is that you know these stock wheels are pretty unique for this you could go ahead with you know different sort of wheels or i personally would say you know these stock wheels are pretty unique for this so i don't know it's totally personal preferences you can choose whichever suits your likes i'll probably just go with the stock one for this you know all right so those are all the customization options that we have for this motorcycle and uh, yeah pretty good i like how it came out just like the cyberpunk you know not exactly but similar to that so yeah kind of liking overall build and uh, let's go check out the top speed of this there was no point you know doing two different tests so i just went with uh, the good thing is that you can actually see the dials while riding so that is a pretty good you know upgrade from the older motorcycles but this is actually neat you know in first person view so thumbs up to rockstar from my side for this nice okay that's pretty cool <laughs> All right, here we are at the airport runway and we'll be doing a short speed test run. I mean, like I said earlier, there's no point in doing two separate runs. So I just, you know, completely upgraded it. And uh, let's go check out the top speed now. And the performing release actually increases the overall top speed. So, but it seems to be kind of, you know, hitting it. Oh my god, 154, 156, crazy top speed right there, 163 miles per hour, oh my god, this actually comes, you know, much faster than the Shinobi which we tested earlier, so that is actually pretty crazy guys, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you do the normal one, it probably wouldn't go that high. And the crazy thing is that the Shinobi costs, you know, much more than this. Yeah, like I said, 113 miles per hour, it's kind of struggling, 115. But if you perform wheelies, I mean, it literally jumped to 150, 156 miles per hour. Oh my god. I'm not sure if this is a bug or a glitch, but this thing is freaking insane, guys. The Shinobi itself, you know, even though it's like half a million costlier than this motorcycle, that thing is actually much slower than this. And take a look at that. It's already crossed 130, 140. Oh my god, 147, 150 miles per hour. 154, not bad. So pretty cool. I mean, that's actually higher than the supercars that we tested earlier. So. <laughs> oh my god this thing is freaking insane guys absolutely love it you know especially for the way it has come out just like the cyberpunk so thumbs up for that and 
I'm in love with this. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Yeah, back to the bike. Nonetheless, the bike itself, you know, came out really good. I kind of like it. Overall, performance, speed, handling, everything of this vehicle is really good. So thumbs up to Rockstar on this price. I don't know. I just leave it to you guys to you know decide if it's worth it or not. So yeah, that's the overall review of the Western River. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Did you guys like it? Did you guys you know think it's overpriced? Let me know down in the comments. Also, do drop the video a like and make sure to stay tuned as more such videos are going to be coming soon. So subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you all and have a good day.